morning. <clears throat> Today is Friday, February 11th. This is a weekly video update for parents as well as the morning announcement video for students. So we'll start with the prayer and the pledge. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have mass. We have cheese pizza for lunch. Our COVID numbers still look good. We had one positive case report and two in quarantine this week. And that leads me to my other updates about COVID. And you may have heard this if you have students in other Catholic high schools. Um, masks are optional starting Monday. Masks are optional starting Monday. Um, and this comes from the superintendent's office and it is, um, I think it's what we've been hoping to get to. Um, although anyone who wants to wear a mask is always welcome to wear a mask, but they will be optional, not mandatory starting Monday. We are still continuing the weekly COVID testing on Friday, if you'd like to sign your student up for that. Monday is Valentine's Day, um, but we know this year, like other years, we're impacted by quarantines, absences, virtual days. And so we are not setting time aside for a party. There is not a Valentine's party in the classrooms. If you send treats, uh, there will be time at the end of the day for the teacher to let your kids pass those around to their classmates and everybody can take those home to enjoy. Because also next week is NWEA map testing. Um, this is the testing that we do three times a year, fall, winter, spring, and um, it's for grades kindergarten through eighth. Um, there's a few things to keep in mind about map testing. We will not let students into the building after 810. We have to start the testing on time. We have to have some, um, we have to have some good rules about getting here on time and getting the testing started. And if you're here after 810, we're going to be sending you home. So next week, attendance tardiness will not be tolerated <laughs> and it's really a good time of the year to get back in the habit of getting to school on time. Map testing serves a few purposes. Um, we're obviously always tracking students strengths and weaknesses but at this time of the year since we have the August or September test data you know we're making sure that the student is growing that the student is learning um, and if we see that that's not happening, then that's a, that's a time to pause and look more closely at what's going on with our student. It'll be good data when we meet with you, our parents, in parent-teacher conferences coming up, probably in, I think it's in March. And so all of this testing um, is helpful information for what your student needs. On February 21st, that's a Monday. There is no school because of President's Day. So I'm just reminding everybody of that. Um, okay, so that's your weekly update. We are so happy that we've, um, we've made it to this point to be able to have masks optional, to have our COVID numbers looking so good. And, um, and we wish everybody a really great weekend. Thank you.